Hey, Life Church! This is John, my wife Amber, and we are so thrilled to be celebrating our church family's sixth birthday today. We are almost ready for kindergarten, six years old. So it was exactly six years ago on Sunday, March 17th, 2013, that we launched weekly worship experiences. We started by renting the theater at Saginaw Valley State University. And here we are six years later. So help us out. Uh, many of us are new to Life Church, which is exciting. Healthy things grow. What was it like to start a church from scratch? <laughs> well, it was very scary at the time. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, you kind of just look out the window and hope somebody shows up. Probably the lowest point was when we were meeting at Sherwood Elementary. And You didn't like the smell? It was very frustrating season because we just were treading water and we could not gain ground and get momentum going. So We were the slowest growing church in America. Probably. <laughs> and, so. and then we moved to Heritage High School in the summer with no air right. conditioning. There. Imagine you're a brand new church, you have to set up and tear down, summer of 2014, 100 degrees outside. <laughs> you're trying to get people to come to your church at Heritage High School. You go to check your kids in, there's no air conditioning. And our tagline was, you think it's hot in here? Hell's worse. Uh, <laughs> and then after nine months of praying and pleading and working with the city of Cotchville, we finally got into our Saginaw campus, the former Golf Mania knowing what God had promised and believing in it, even though we were kind of in the desert there for a few years, <laughs> so. I think that's encouraging, Amber, for our lifers in Midland campus. Definitely. Midland just celebrated second birthday, <laughs> and then next month, there's a team from Midland and Saginaw that are gonna launch a Bay City campus. Statistically, the turnover rate when you start a new church or a new church campus, the turnover rate in two years is a hundred percent and so it's normal for people to come for a season and they kind of help build the scaffolding and then God calls them to another church or ministry and more people come in and they help build the building and so Midland you've just made it past two years love you all <laughs> and Bay City get ready it's exciting it's frustrating it's everything <laughs> rolled into one and those, those of you who are in this season of Midland and soon to be Bay City, <clears throat> you, um, you, you're gonna have an extra blessing by participating in what's happening in Life Church in this season of the church because you get to have that same kind of experience like what we're describing where there's those moments where it seems like there's just no way it's gonna make it or it's so frustrating or you know there's there's and then there's the highs too and you see life change and people um, coming from you have no idea where and you get to see these highs and these lows and it's your commitment and your serving your sacrifice that helps keep it going and then, you know, in six years from now or four years from now for Midland when you're six years old and six years from now for the Bay City campus, you're gonna be able to stand there and look back like what we're looking back with Saginaw and be able to celebrate um, all that God has done and be able to see how God was moving even in those times when you were feeling like you were in the desert for 40 years. I'm thankful that you let me do this. <laughs> I think it was originally my idea, actually. You can blame her, it's all her <laughs> fault. Hey, Life Church, we are thankful for you, thankful for our amazing staff and interns. We're thankful for the people that came before you, and we're thankful for the people that we're going to reach. Because of you. And we really do believe that in Christ, the best is yet to come. And so together, let's see what God can do through you. <laughs>